everybody. Uh, I'm going to teach you how to play uh, the lead guitar part for Shampoo Bottles, um, uh, the lead part for it today. And the song just starts out with Neil uh, playing chords and singing. Um, if you need those chords, I'm pretty sure they're online somewhere. But then the electric guitar comes in and it starts sounding something a little bit like this. Okay, so what you're starting with there is on the 12th fret of the G string, 11th fret of the B string, and 11th fret of the high E, you make that little chord, and then you're going to slide it up to the 15 for all of those. And then again. And then you're going to hit the 13th fret for all of those strings, and a bit of a hammer on. And then you're going to make a little chord uh, on the 12th fret of the D and the G strings and on the 11th fret of the B string. And then put your pinky on the 13th fret of the B string, uh, 10th fret of the E string, and then just back down. And then back to the original part. And then you make this weird chord, which is uh, 12th fret of the A string, 13th fret of the D string, 12th fret of the G string, 13th fret of the B string, and you go up, and then you hit the 10th fret of the high E, and then that's pretty much the verse. Then you get to kind of the second half of the verse, actually, not done it yet, um, where you go on the B and the E strings and start with the 16th fret of the B string and the 15th fret of the E string. Make this nice little two note chime. Um, and you go like this. Um, so, yeah, you start with that that note, and then you move it down to here. One note down on the B string, and two notes down on the E string. And you take that chord, you slide it down too, and back up. And then you go down to that chord again. And uh, just move the index finger down to the 10th fret of the E string. And then uh, do this little move with uh, on the 12th fret of the G string and uh, on 11 and 13 of the B string. Uh, and then kind of staying in that shape there, you kind of do a little riff. And then that again. And then you go, you stay in that kind of chord shape again. It's kind of hard to see when I like gnarl up my hand like that, but it's kind of hard to explain too, so bear with me. Um, that is the verse, and then we get to the chorus, which uh, for the most part is pretty easy. It's just a really simple melody at the beginning. So you're going to start on the 12th fret of the G string. And that's just going down from the 12 to the 10 to the 8 and back up. And again. Uh, and you hit that, which is um, on the 8th fret, the G and the uh, G and the B string. And you're going to slide it from here all the way up. 
So. You're basically sliding it up 12 uh, frets there to get the octave. And then do that again. And then just. And that's it. And then the last part of the chorus, which is kind of the more tricky part, starts with uh, 11 and, uh, or no, not 11, yeah, 13 and 11 on the E string. And you're gonna go like this. It's kind of fast. It sounds like this all together. So, I mean, it's just kind of like this rolling riff. Um, it's just about being able to play it quickly. Like, the, I feel like the notes don't change too much. And then just repeat that. Watch closely again. Um... Yeah, where does it go from there? I can't even remember. Yeah, so it kind of just ends halfway through on one of those runs. Yeah, just slides from the um, 17th fret to the 21st fret on the G string for the last one there. Um, and then the other, only other part of the song that you're missing is the outro, which is just kind of the chorus melody again, but played higher up. Starts on the G on the high E string. And then kind of moves into this like that same thing that was going on in the um uh like second half of the verse very similar <laughs> um that's pretty much the whole song uh i'm gonna do a uh, uh, Instagram live thing tomorrow uh, and I'll answer any questions if any of that was a little bit too quick or confusing but uh, yeah I hope you can learn it and thanks for watching